Hello friends, welcome back to AZ204 Lab 2 Exercise 3 and in this video we'll create a function app that triggers on a schedule basis. Okay. So here is the lab scenario. We are done with the exercise 1. We are done with the exercise 2 in the past videos. And here we'll talk about the exercise 3, which says create a function that triggers on a schedule basis. So basically, like it's a kind of your batch program that runs on a particular time. Okay. So let's go to the Microsoft website where we have all the instructions. So here we are at the exercise 3. It says create a function that triggers on a schedule basis. Okay. Now the task one is to create a schedule triggered function. So we need to go to the Azure portal resource group, go to the serverless resource group, and then from there go to the our function app, function logic app, and from the app service blade, select the functions options from the functions section, then click on add. So basically now we need to create one more function. Okay. So we'll go to the resource group. Then I'll go to the serverless and here is our function app. Okay, function logic app. Now from the functions, click on add. Timer trigger, I'll give the name as recurring and let me get the cron expression. Okay, so this is how it is. I'll simply copy and paste here. Now, if you see the expression, right? So this is how it is the first star zero is second then you have minute so every two minutes then you have hour and then you have month of the day then month day of week year so this is the expression syntax but for now we are like as part of the instruction this cron job right it should execute after two minutes so uh, what i will do is i'll just put as star slash five okay let me just paste this on here create function now if you go here to see the results it says that in the functions blade select code plus test option from the developer section and then go to logs so i'll just go here and then i'll look for logs from here okay it's here let me just make it big Say it's connected. So now you can see the logs, right? So this is like when you work on some batch programs, like you have to run some jobs on a particular time, maybe like daily reports or monthly reports, right? That moment you can just go and create a time trigger based function app okay now let's go back so this is done now update the function integration configuration okay so here our task 3 is to update the function integration configuration so you have to go to function blade then integration option from the developer section in the integration pane select the timer trigger okay and in the edit trigger let's do this so this will run the job it will trigger the job every after 30 seconds so how to update i have to go here integration and then timer trigger right so it's here and i have to update the cron expression so now this as part of this expression it means that we are going to run this particular job every after 30 seconds so i'll simply click on save and again to see the output i'll go back to the so here logs now you'll see that okay so here is our log now it will print next after 30 after 30 seconds so we'll just wait for 30 seconds and then we'll proceed Okay, if you see here, this one, so the last time when it executed was here, 7, 8, 0, 0, and now after 30 seconds, 8, 7, 0, 8, colon, 3, 0. Okay, perfect. Now let's go back to the instructions. It says observe the function that runs 
now occurs about every 30 seconds okay review in this exercise you created a function that runs automatically based on a fixed schedule perfect so that's it for this exercise now we need to work on the exercise 4 in the next video thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video